tutus as the millennium approached. Everyone waiting. Then, nothing. It came and went. Still, even after all these years later, something ominous was in the air. We'd had it too good for too long. It was a time of milk and honey, hard bodies and hot rods, chaos and cappuccino. Some things the private sector was smart enough to fix, but new ideas still stirred old fires and even older remedies. We'd saved billions by privatizing prisons. Still, our military was operating on a shoestring. The politicians thought they could predict the future. But people were still trying to believe in something. Even me. Me? I'm a soldier. In a world full of rules, I broke them. They called me a renegade. In the Euro-Asian conflict, I broke more. They gave me a medal and began closing bases. War was over, obsolete. I knew better and told the president so, publicly. She was pissed, big time. I wondered how bad it would be. It was bad. The DOD reassigned me to close down what was left of Fort Edinburgh, the junkyard depot for every branch of the military. They call it the boneyard, I call it my graveyard. Everything that no one wanted from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the last five conflicts was stored there. Now, me. It couldn't get any worse and then it did the big one 9.5 on the richter scale 400 seconds of hell that changed the face of the world forever california separated along the san andreas fault a new island off the coast of arizona was born mojave island Life is gone, and a new order has begun. I'm Captain Nick Preston, U.S. Army. Marine Sergeant Lucky Simcoe and Air Force Captain Sarah McBride are all that's left in control at Fort Edinburgh. Three different branches of the military, one mission. We search for food, fuel, and fellow survivors. And this is our last patrol. Miriam and Will arrived on day 20 AE, after earthquake. A lucky couple from Pomona on their way back from Vegas, carrying the biggest jackpot of their lives. $48,000 in cold, hard cash. Then their luck ran out. 
Pope straggle in the first week alone. He was delivering lemons from his tribe's orchard when the quake turned over his truck and turned back the clock. Now those ancient skills may come in handy. And Cookie. Well, we don't know who he is. He says he's an Indian doctor who happens to be a gourmet cook. Pope says he is no Indian. One thing for sure, he can't cook. Candy, Lucky's wildcat wife and our resident desert bloom. A mirage of mismanaged beauty. Did, did you hear anything? No, not yet, sweetheart. The captain's working on it. Candy kept a child alive in all of us. The graves of the quake victims reminded us how badly we needed that. I told you that we need to head east. East? Now look, by my calculations, it's where my pilot might be. Why do you keep fighting me on this, Preston? I'm not fighting him, McBride. I've considered your advice and rejected it. We fan west. That's our patrol for now. What are you afraid of in the east? What is out there that we can't handle? Or you can't handle? McBride had a mind like radar, and when she focused it on me, it opened up doors that had slammed shut. I can't get her out of my mind or my dreams. Someone I'd known only for a moment means more to me than a family I can't remember. She knew something was going to happen, and she was carrying her brood to the desert. Did she save them? Sometimes I think I hear them singing. Every day I search for them, praying they're alive. There is nothing there, Preston. Yes, there is. More. With love, brother. Only love. Now, is this any way to greet the man that does nothing but bring life to you and your encampment? You're the milkman. Ferguson McGee, Millennium Milkman, straight from the dairy. A decent meal. How did you get here? Well, I walked. I got me a ranch. Well, I had a ranch. Yeah, who you been selling to? A few survivors early on. Have to say, I haven't seen anybody in weeks. A Marine? No, mostly commoners heading north. And that's where I'm going. Blue Mountains, you know? There's 300 miles of liquefaction between you and the Blue Mountains. You'll never make it. I met a woman who's been there. A woman? Oh, yeah. Black as night, beautiful as the sun, a holy woman. She claims there's a bridge back home. Did she have kids with her? Kids? No, no kids, except for my little girls over there. <laughs> we'll buy some. What you got? Cash. Good cold cash will do me good on the other side. How much? 10,000 US dollars. That's highway robbery. I got a head for business. You got anything else, folks? Oh, we had water. Baby, just baby, please. You know, we could overpower you and take your goats if we want to. But you won't. Will you? Daddy! Well, she might. Well, 5,000 and that's it. Well, all right. I want the big one, the shampoo bottle. <laughs> Don't drink that bill! Why are you trying to poison my cat? I told y'all I had a head for business. <laughs> Come on, little lady. Let him go. Let him go. Shouldn't we go after him? He's dead anyway. We will be too without antibiotics. Those goats have Q fever. It's like a flu from hell. Deadly. Oh, Captain. Captain. Daddy! Don't 
Leave me here with these sick people. Sweetheart, we gotta find the antibiotic, okay? We'll be okay, I promise. I promise. Hope. We're counting on you. Follow me everywhere. A trap. We're gonna have something different tonight if I have to barf it up and call it casserole. Finally, a decent meal. About time to get old trap work. Help me. Good lord. Oh. Well, who are you? Private Jasper, U.S. Army. Great. I finally catch something in this stupid trap, and it's a man. Another hard ankle in a uniform. Like I need another one. I won't hurt you. I've been in the desert for weeks. No, that's true. Oh, God, I haven't seen another person in... in... God, you're beautiful. What are you doing? You can kill someone with that thing. We don't know who that is. Well, can't you see? It's a soldier boy. Come on. Here it is. Hospital marker right there. Mercury, California. Where is it? Watch for a check at sand, Lucky. We'll be swimming in liquefaction if you miss it. Oh, uh, what was that, uh, what was that knothead thing, you know? It was kind of creepy. Not as creepy as the other thing. Yeah, what other thing? All those goats were exactly the same. The Infinity Broadcast Network, in cooperation with our sponsor, Nan Wong Pharmaceutical, proudly presents... Live from Nan Wong! But first, I would like to introduce to you the host of our show, a man who was left in the face of death. The one and only Jesus! 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 Please hurry up and don't use so much water. Captain Chris is going to kill me. She's breaking all the rules. Sugar said tonight. I won't miss it, wherever he is. What's that? Seismology maps. Used for identifying fault lines.
A radiator's dry. What do you think that's all about? Someone's thirsty. <laughs> McBride, get over here. Take a look at this. Where is she? Over there at the rodeo. Bubba, come on. Get it, McBride! We can't feed a horse! Come on. Oh yeah, we could eat him! <laughs> Jeez, McBride! Okay, go! She wants that horse. Uh-huh. You gonna get it for her? Yeah. Sergeant? How's that horse? Horse is doing just fine, Captain. Good. That was some show, cowgirl. <laughs> you didn't quite make the eight seconds. Oh, that's very funny. You should have left me alone. I almost had him. This ground is unstable. Come on, let's go. Hang on. Hold on. Oh, it looks like you need a little makeover there, McBride. Well, I'll make sure to have a word with Candy when we get back to camp. What? That's your normal? Do it! I'm not dropping my pants. I'm not dropping my pants! Pants over your head! Now turn around! All right, you may dress. Hey, officer, we're military- Shut up! I'm the keeper of the peace. You live here? I'm protecting the law. Put the gun down. No one's here to harm you. We're here to help. Hey. Then maybe you will got the books. If you do that, I won't write you up. I'm so tired. I haven't slept since, uh... Gotta be on guard. Especially now that they're loose. What do you mean, they're loose? That's official business. If they wanted you to know, you'd know. Want a peanut? Yeah. Mm. Uh, 
You got any medical supplies? Excuse me. All right, condoms. Keep that. You might need it. You got any, uh, any antibiotics? Anything like that? Uh, no. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, did you see anyone else? The bus? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Greyhound. Uh, not much left of it. Hey, don't touch that. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. I found Where's it. Where's that from? It's from a whirlybird. One of yours. Where is it? I don't know. It was swallowed up. Was there a body? Where is the body? No body. There's never a body. Hey, guys, guys. I got a camera here. That, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Cabs, you realize we got a bird's eye view before and after. Uh, if you can find a photo lab. Well, if you can find me anything, find me a taco stand. Maybe you pilot didn't need this, but we sure do. Antibiotics. Let's go. Where is he? We have to... Where is he? We have to find him. Where is he? Where is That's he? That's right. <gasps> where is your pilot? I don't know. And the horse's owner? I don't know. And all those people who left their vehicles? I don't know. Yeah, it's like they just disappeared into thin air. What do you think, huh? Aliens? Oh, no. It's much closer to home than that. The monsters are loose. 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 That guy's a walking aftershock. A nutcase. Or he's seen too much. He's a nutcase. The Infinity Broadcast Network, in cooperation with our sponsor, Nan Wong Pharmaceutical proudly presents Live from Nan Wong. Today's special guest is back fresh from a remarkable journey, so you'll be glad you tuned in. And now today's very special guest, the new millennium milkman, Virgus and Mickey! <laughs> Ferguson, we hear you have some exciting news. That's right. That's right. I'm proud to announce that I have made contact with the outside. <laughs> really? And how did it go? Not so good. Ah. Well, you know, it is hard to keep all my customers satisfied. <laughs> but two of them will soon be part of my regular route, so to speak. <laughs> 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 and there's more. I found something. What? Tell us. Brothers, I have found something that we all have been praying and searching for. Water. Water! Water, brothers! I found water! Give him this, half each, understand? Okay, good. Meet my surprise. Private Jasper. Hey, Daddy, now you have somebody to boss around. Jasper, this is Sergeant Lucky Simcoe, my husband, soulmate. Oh, can I keep him, Daddy? Who are you? Private First Class Richard Jasper, sir. 102nd Infantry U.S. Army, sir. That's not what your uniform says. That's a Marine Corps pilot's uniform with the insignia for an office. Hey, I'm, I'm one of you. What is it with you people? This man saved my life. We, we were on maneuvers when the quake hit, and uh, I, I got separated from my unit. Uh, my, my, my truck crashed into a crevice. By the time I got out, my uniform was in rags, so I 
figured I was a civilian again. Where did you get that I, uniform? I, I got it about a week ago. I, I came upon this crashed helicopter. The, the uniform was there. I, I took it. It gets cold at night. I, I, I felt sorry about the pilot, so I took his name and insignia off. What was the pilot's name? I, I don't remember. Uh, 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 Michael, L Lieutenant Michael, something. I, who cares? He wasn't there. Nothing was there. Just, just sand. And, just, just sand and sand. Oh, Don't you understand? He's been out there alone for weeks. And finally he finds his way here. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Especially you, Bucky Simcoe. And you're just acting like a savage. All right. Come on, soldier boy. Welcome to Fort Edinburgh. I'll show you around. I don't trust him. He knows more about Mike. Hey, I think this calls for a celebration. What do you say, Captain? I say... Let's party. Ah! Hey, it's the 4th of July! Wait, wait, wait. Excuse me, Captain, but what exactly are we celebrating? 4th of July. It isn't the 4th of July. It is the candy. You know, you've never really struck me as the regular party boy. And don't you think that our, our supplies could be put to better use than indulging Candy in her latest little fantasy and this Jasper? Today, we party, Captain. And that's in order. How are they doing, Cookie? Good, Captain. They had a fever, but we got it down pretty quick. How are you feeling, Marion? She's great. Much better. Much better. We too. Will? Will? What'd you give him? Antibiotic. No, before that. Peyote. Like the edge of the fever. It warmed. I mean, they are completely gunned. Comatose. I'm very happy, Captain. Trust me. Are they coming back? Two hours. Tops. Right back to normal. They are coming back. They will be at your party, Captain. Singing and dancing. I'd settle for breathing. You know me, Captain. I do the best with what I have. Come now. We best leave them alone. Don't want to scare them. You know, they look at you and think you are some great big flying bat or something. So, Cookie, you're not a doctor. You're not a cook. No. You're not an Indian. No. So, what are you? I'm nothing. Comedian. You're not funny. I didn't say I was good. I played the Catskills back east. Got a break. Had it west, supposed to open in Vegas, at the Strip. The Strip? You mean like Caesar's Palace? No. The Strip. Striporama. You know, the lounge. Oh. <laughs> Imagine me naked. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> So, just for the record, who are you going to be tomorrow? It's a new world, Captain. Wonderful. I can be whoever I want.
Lost Boy. Yeah, me too. Well, I, I was delivering supplies to my unit when uh, we got separated by the quake. What supplies? What kind of supplies? Well, don't get your hopes up. It was a truck full of toilet paper. Mm, this is good. What is this? Alpo. Little kibble. Spices. Mm, dog food. Border docks. This is the last station for the border docks. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Cook is the only cook in the world that can make dog food taste worse. <laughs> I was snack. I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good. It's uh, different. Yeah. What yeah. appetit. Yeah. Where's McBride's horse? Hey, anyone who eats my horse dies. He, on the other hand, is looking mighty tasty. Hmm, <laughs> nice uniform. Oh. Well, I had that long consultation with Miss Candy. So, um, uh, you been drinking, Captain? Oh, orders, sir. I'm observing the national holiday. Do you dance, too? Like a friggin' ballerina. <laughs> I'm great with dogs. <laughs> so, so, Captain Preston, I, I was wondering, how do you run your generators? Gasoline? Diesel? What kind of chopper was that? A Cobra? Huey? Yeah, what kind of toilet paper was that? Was it the soft kind? There you go. See you guys. <laughs> was it that rough, gritty stuff? Having too much fun, Captain? Speak for yourself. You're the one who seems to be having all the fun with your new best buddy. Uh, you know on, what? Kevin. Look, I I know what this is about. What? To remain in control. That's all you hard asses care about anyway, is authority, command, control. And hard asses like you, Captain McBride? What do you care about? Finding my pilot. What's up with you and this pilot? Since when do we not go out and bring back our own? Now, you may have forgotten everything before the quake, about? but I have it. What are you talking Wait, about? Wait, where did you learn how to ride like that? Not in the army, that is for sure. But were you some kind of cowboy? Maybe a polo player? Maybe a rodeo clown. I want to know. What you want to know, it's none of your business. Miss Candy is ready for our show! <laughs> Baby, calm down. I want my life back. I'm going home. Baby, I won't be 
kill me, sweetheart. I will not be gone. What are we doing here? This is not an army installation. This is a joke. Try so hard, Cam. I mean, she just tries so hard to hang on to any little thing. I mean, I feel like I robbed her of her life. You didn't rob her. The earthquake did. Oh no, it started before that. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I just think. Um... <laughs> I mean, sometimes I feel like I should just take her. Take her where? Home. I mean, you probably want to shoot me, Captain, but uh, I got to tell you, sometimes I'm tempted, you know? Just light out and try to find a way back. Because I know her. She just can't hold on much longer. So would you? Probably. You'd shoot me? No. I'd want to take her home. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't. You know, Lucky, I don't think he's there anymore. What do you mean? I mean, America has still got to be there. Not the America that we knew. Well, yeah, but something. I mean, some semblance. I mean, I'm not saying she's going to get to go to the mall and shop right away, but I mean, certainly, Captain, there's got to be... I think it's global. Something's not right. Something's shifted. Shifted? I mean, now you're spooking me, Captain. I mean, the stars aren't exactly where they used to be. It's like... It's like an axis shift. Well, so you don't think it's just us desert rats that are affected? No. It's the whole world. Well, I don't think I got the guts to tell her that. Don't. Just... Just tell her you love her and... Tell her to hold on, keep making things pretty, and... You can tell her for me, she's got a great voice. You know, my worst fear has just been realized. I'm a crybaby. <laughs> I'm a crybaby Marine. <laughs> You're a good soldier, Lucky. And I need you. Well, you can count on me, Captain. I mean, you can be sure of that. You've got a seven. You've got a five. You've got another seven. You can split it or you can take another card. You want to split it? Okay, Miriam. I want you to show him. Her heart is racing all the time. I've got it too. Her muscles are like spasming, almost thickening. It's like, like we're moving through water. It's not just some ranch fever, is it, Captain? No. This wasn't Q fever. This was profound change, not natural. No more natural than the goat man or monsters on the loose. Two days water and rations. Request denied. Give me that map. I'm going back to 29 Palms. They'll help 29 me. 29 Palms. My... There's a Marine base, Captain. You have no authority there. McBride, Sarah, Captain, U.S. Air Force, Sierra Bravo 362 er Same rank, Captain. You want to compare scare badges, McBride? I've had my face in the mud in four conflicts. I outrank you, Captain. You're not in charge of me, Captain. We aren't even from the same branch. You're a mudslug. Airedale. 
I am Air Force, and we don't take this kind of crap. Okay, Captain, I'll tell you what. I take everything on the ground. You're in charge of everything that flies. Deal? Very funny, Preston. We have clear orders. Dig in, Captain. No, you dig in! That's it. We're creating a post, Captain, not searching for one. That's an order. Stop giving me You're orders! You're not going anywhere. Get out of my way, Preston. I'll keep you in the desert for too long. Don't push me. Oh, what are you gonna do, Captain? Pull my hair? Ow! Maybe the same rank, but I'm still in charge. Why? Because you're bigger than me? Yeah, that's all you can respect. Yeah, I'm bigger than you. You think I don't know, don't you? That you're losing it! You really think that you can lead a unit with only half your memory? Still survival of the fittest out here, McBride. Where she was heading, it might have been more kind to shoot her. This is amazing. You, you've got enough ammo here to supply an army. Oh, we are the army, son. Yeah, right. So what? <clears throat> what you looking for? Developing fluid, which I'm not gonna find. <laughs> here, put this one in my pack. What the hell is this for? Well, if worse comes to worse, I'll find some fluid buried in one of the hazardous waste dumps. You know, I may have to do a little bit of mining. Boom! <laughs> yeah, you know, it's messy, but it's effective. Of course, I'm opening some AV gas left in that jet reserve, then I can make some of my own. You know what that is, right? Chopper? Huh? Right? Yeah. Okay. Um... You, you got a lot of these? Well, you got enough. Where are you guys going? Home. We're going home. This is your home. You're a good man, Captain Preston. Better than most of us deserve, but you can't control what's happening to us. We're gonna head to the Blue Mountains while we still can. Maybe there's a bridge back home. Maybe we can be healed. We don't want to die here. You're not gonna die? Can you promise us that? Please let us go before we die. Are you going to have to kill us? Please. Thank you, Captain. For everything. Thank you. Come on, honey. Many will come, many will go. I just didn't think I'd lose three in a matter of hours. The thing about being a leader was sometimes you had to swallow your pride. And McBride was quite a mouthful. But I needed her. And even though she didn't know it yet, she needed me. Captain Preston told you to stay with me. Listen, sweetheart, I gotta try and scavenge some fuel and equipment to process these pictures, okay? I mean, then we're gonna know. Then we'll know everything. your future baby i gotta go lucky don't go don't please Where'd you go i might not be here when you get back come on baby you don't mean that just i gotta go baby but i'll be back okay it's for your future baby come on just say it for me right who loves you who loves you daddy loves you come on who loves you come on just say it <laughs>
wake opened up the Colorado. The Salton Sea rushed in. Most likely, the Grand Canyon's full. We're cut off from the mainland by a new eastern sea. Toxic. Shut up! Lucky and I found this in our first patrol. When you were recovering from your injuries. You didn't tell me! Why? Why? Because your father was stationed there. <laughs> Sorry about your father. God. McBride, your relentlessness, bullheadedness, single mindedness. Pain in the assness. It's a great part of what fuels this engine. And what's the engine's function? Survive. Got a medal. I got busted. And I got to the desert. That's as by as far back as I can remember. Things come back to me like riding the horse, but I know horses. I, I just don't know why. My last memory before the quake is stopping to help this, this broken down bus, the church bus, full of kids. Watch your leg. One. Hey, come on, y'all. Get a man some room, huh? Hey. Gee, you're a brave woman. I'd rather fight a war than battle a busload of kids. <laughs> Let's just say I was, uh, compelled. Yeah, me too. Her name was Rainbow Jones. Rainbow? Most of these kids had never been out of the inner city. After I finished changing the tire, we sat down and had a picnic. I wasn't in a hurry. I'd made up my mind to quit. If the army didn't see my worth, screw them. That's when I met Tamara. She smelled like bottled sunshine. Do you save people? When I can. Do you kill people? How do you explain right and wrong in a black and white world to an age world? How do you explain being a soldier? See, I protect the country. That's my job. Will you protect me? Especially you. Promise? And I realized in that moment what I was fighting for and that I couldn't walk away. It's for me? Thanks. All the children of the world, red, yellow, black or white, you are precious in his sight. Be quiet when you get on the bus. Hey, soldier, I need that. Stop pushing. It's for you. 
Thanks. <laughs> Careful. She'll have your watch before she's through. <laughs> you ever feel like... Like you just gotta do that thing inside you? I mean, even, even though you only know a little of what it is? I only know what's in front of me. A change is coming. You ready? I'll be ready. Do you promise? Now, the last thing I saw was Tamara hanging out the window, waving, feeling safe. Because I made a promise. You bastard. Just when I had you uh, written off as a hard ass, you tell me about a bus full of kids and their psychic soul mother. Why? Because we're all they've got. You're all I've got. We're it. And you think together we can save the world? Maybe our little piece of it. Well, I'll help you keep your promise. If you help me keep mine. Big Mike, your pilot. My brother. We used to have run out after it happened. Run out, see if they were still there. Stars. I just want to see beauty again. Well, all you got to do is look in the mirror, baby. What? 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 It's such a bar, such a bar, it's people. These people you do not want to meet. Where are you from? Damn, damn! What aren't you telling me? <laughs> no, 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 no. Stay in the car, right? Listen, Candy. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Just promise me, don't, don't move, okay? Don't leave the car, okay? Get the girl. Where were you going, Jasper? Didn't you have a job to do? Yeah, yeah, I did it. I was coming to you. Get over here. Do you know these people? Hey, it looks more like a camping trip than a supply run. What happened, Jasper? Chance? Not just like the last time. Those roadkill sandwiches of cookies, they nearly put me over. But if it's a fresh kill, we could be heroes.
candy. Sending us a big message. Three soldiers! <laughs> Three soldiers! That is the sum total of the military installation. It's amigos, you have nothing to fear! The earthquake has been the great equalizer. <laughs> well, maybe we can't kill them with chemicals. But we can do it the old-fashioned way. Because once you control the water, you control everything. Shut up! I don't know how much longer we can control them. They're fighting over their own urine. They're not thirsty for water, you idiot! They're thirsty for this! Now put me back on there. Get down! Get down! Get down! I said put me back on air, and now. Good. I'm glad you're happy. Amigos, are you with me? Are you with me? Good, good. I see they developed the film or uh, blew up the compound. Hey, ain't nobody blowing up anything around here except me. I feel like God. Getting ready to see my new world. Why don't we just look for Candy? Lucky, where's Candy? She's run off. That's pretty much what I expect from her, too. It's good riddance as far as I'm concerned. I'm telling you what really ticks me off is losing that truck. Hey, I'm gonna kill that Jasper if he shows his sorry ass around here. Jasper's dead. And we found this. Damage but still functioning. They're organized just like a military operation, and they're armed. Who's missing? Chicks? No Asian guards. That's right. The inmates are running the asylum. Sergeant, you got our diversion ready? Oh, I got more than that. I got enough here to blow every eardrum from here to the Blue Mountains. Give me till 1500 hours. If I'm not back by then. Now it's armed. 20 seconds, then she blows. I'm gonna run the ambulance right to the front gate into the exercise yard. Make my special delivery. Be simple, just like delivering newspapers. Of course, uh, Pope here's got me covered with his bow and arrow, so I got nothing to worry about, right? All right, 1500. Clear? Clear. The bride, watch my back. So you're gonna be okay with this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh... You got a problem? Better tell me now. I never saw combat. You flew the Euro-Asian conflict. Ash and trash, the woman thing. You never engaged? No, sir. Great. Never killed anybody? No, sir. Great. Ever, um, run anything over in your car? Yeah, once. On a road outside Palm Springs, a squirrel. Good. Same feeling, horrible, but you get over it pretty quick. These guys are the rodents, you're the 18-wheeler. Whoa, 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 Captain. I mean, what are you gonna do, just stroll up and ring the bell?
Are you ladies just gonna stand there? Get up there. Turn around. Keep moving, let's go. We've been expecting you. I got your note. Captain Nick Preston, U.S. Army. This is quite the operation you got going for yourself. <laughs> oh, yes, Captain Preston. We do. We hear you have an operation of your own. I'm sorry we haven't been introduced. Hmm. Simon Peace, geologist. I'm the one that predicted the earthquake. You are probably one of the ones who laughed. I knew that there was one spot on the western seaboard that could survive a 9.5, and we are standing on it. The plate. <laughs> the Mississippi is running backwards now. Tell him about the mountains. Why they flash. Electrical discharges. Phenomenon. that comes from shifting plates, like friction, energy. You know, some people claim that it gives them a psychic ability. Others believe that they're the bridge home. And nobody really knows the way, except your sleeping pilot. <laughs> you have it. <laughs> he's our guide, Preston. When he wakes up from his coma, he's going to lead us out. The help of my friend Simon, our navigator here. Does that make you guard? Hey, those weren't our orders, McBride. He's way outnumbered in there. There's no way that he can contain all those men. I'm going in. The guy knows what he's doing. He's a ranger. Combat, infantry, airborne. The guy's been to hell and back more than once, believe me. Not this kind of hell. Preston would be dead right now. Which puts me in charge. Now you take my orders. What? That's what you've been angling for the whole time, isn't it, McBride, huh? Be in command? I'm going to try and save our commander. So you just back off, Sergeant, and let me do my job. Hey. Like that, you're not. All right. Send in Big Sally on schedule. Unless you get a, a sign from me, a signal flare. That calls the whole thing off. You understand? Yeah. Hey, McBride. Just make sure you're not the flare. So, let's make a deal. You have something I want, I have something you want. And what would that be? Drinking water. In exchange for the pilot, Mike McBride, and Candy, the woman from my camp. <laughs> well, Captain, we don't use water for drinking. It's for irrigation. You grow crops? No, you? no, no, Captain. Our fields of dreams, so to speak. Heroin. Why? The Genetic Warfare Control Group. Sometimes, there were mishaps. These men are in great pain, Captain, and that because of people like you! Comprende! Now, Captain... You wouldn't want to see what they would do to you if they didn't have their juice, hmm? I mean... Jasper was one of them, hmm? And look how they dealt with him. Ah. This isn't about pain, it's about control.
time for the garden tour, Jehovah. Where's Candy and the pilot? Hey, 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 The last man who talked to me like that was the warden of this facility, and he's buried in my garden. Rules have changed, Captain. You're not in charge anymore in here. But in about seven minutes, I will be. <clears throat> Let's do it five, eh? Put him in the hot seat. Well, this could be our best show ever. Simon, bring in our other guest. Reversals. Everyone in this building is in pain. Yes, the reason for the fields. What fields? They would give us medication from the fields twice a day. Stop the pain. Tell me, do you, do you know about a pilot? I'll induct my new queen, and then I'll execute our enemy. Jesus! 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 Rather hard, but great television. Man. What can I do to help? Kill me. chance to make a deal. I'll do it, I'll kill her! Captain! It's the pilot I need, not her. That way I get to kill both of you. Oh! Alright, that's enough! Oh. Oh. <coughs> they move, shoot him. I'll shoot you! I knew once they started messing with your hair, you took care of business. Going after Big Mike! Meeny, meeny, miny, miny. 
Hey, baby. Hey, quick. Back off, Consuela. Okay, okay, okay. Relax. Send me a sign. Get out of here. Okay, hurry up. Come on, follow me quickly. Come on. Oh, what am I doing here? Following orders. That's right, to send in Big Sally. You've got to do it.
I could be in there. I'll do it. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, uh. You better be careful. You boys could spoil my mood. Dear God, please help the captain help us. Because you promised he wouldn't come, and for him not to save us now just wouldn't be right. Rainbow said we could count on you. Amen. Get her on the bus. Do 
you want water? I've been to your blue mountain. And I'll give you water! that dog, McBride. Now you're one dead soldier. Hey, why'd you guys leave with Aubrey? I wasn't hurt that bad. Oh, how's that, Pope? Wait a minute, there's an order. Yeah, I think uh, Pope said that uh, there was no sense in getting ourselves killed over some dead meat, so to speak. Wait a minute, Captain Preston. I just thought that, well, we only had a couple seconds left. What was I supposed to do? You did good. Private. Private? Really? Woo <laughs> of course, I'll be in charge of training camp and Hell Week, so forth. So things aren't like they used to be before the big one. But we found a place, ours. We made contact between us. In the best of times is what we cherish. In the worst, it's all we hang on to. Hey, y'all, where's the kitchen at? Think it's time to break a little bread? Huh? Give a little yeah. thanks? Hallelujah! Yeah. 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 Having only part of my memory has actually helped this process. I hunt around in my mind the same way Lucky scavenges his yard. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's just junk, but one thing for sure. I'm going to piece myself back together again, bit by bit. I'm going to lead them out of here. I have to. I made a promise. And a ravaged land scavenging from the past to create a future needs somebody. Just like me.